Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I thought it would be quite nice to look at this lovely panel that I've made here. It's made from water soluble film, layers of organza fabric that have been cut into strips. Um, we've done some machine embroidery to get the strips to connect together. And then there's all these lovely dimensional flowers which I've applied over the top and I can show you how to make those as well. We've also got some wired leaves and I'll show you how to um, do satin stitch over wire so that you can actually bend these and make a lovely three dimensional flower cascading waterfall. Hello, welcome back. So here you can see on the table, I've got rather a lot of strips of organza, which are really all the odds and ends that I get from when I cut up kits and things like that. So I save them all, and then I thought, well, what can I do with them? So I'm gonna make a new piece of fabric with them. So I haven't cut them with a rotary cutter. I've cut them with my scissors. They are crooked. They've got little bits taken out of them. But as long as you can get a length or a strip out of any of your organza pieces you can use them so you can see the way I've laid them together here and I think they're going to make a really nice piece of fabric but how am I going to hold on to them so that I can sew them well over here I have one that I prepared earlier and if you can see I'm not sure whether you can see on the camera what we've got here is we've got two layers of water soluble film and it's this this clear opaque type plastic that when popped in water later on will dissolve. So if I pop all my strips on top of a piece of the water soluble and I lay them all out and they're all slightly overlapping, about three layers deep, and then I pop the top piece on top, I can then tack that along here intervals with just an ordinary cotton thread and then that is ready to go to my sewing machine and the job that the sewing machine is going to do is it's going to connect all of those fabrics together so here I have a piece that I did earlier let's take this one out of the way so here you go here's my water soluble on the top my water soluble on the back and all of my strips have been laid in between and I've tacked it, I've done some slightly different tacking along here, but it doesn't really matter how you tack it, as long as it's tacked together so it can't move under the sewing machine. And then what I've done is I've actually done straight stitching in a meandering manner, up and down, in a continuous way, trying to catch all of those pieces of strips so that I'm connecting them back together again. Once you've done a basic straight stitch meandering over all of the surface, you can actually look at your stitches that you've got on your sewing machine. And if you're lucky enough to have some of those decorative stitches, you could work decorative stitches along here as well in glittery, glittery thread. You can also add any kind of fancy yarns that you've got to the surface before you rinse it out and get rid of the water soluble. The art of it is, is that you've got to put enough stitching on here to hold everything together. So the worst thing that can happen is you pop this into water, you haven't put enough stitches on it, and you get holes in your work and it doesn't hold together. So air on putting more stitching on than you think you need and adding braids as well and lovely shiny metallic things. This one's got these lovely little wispy bits on it, which I rather like. And once you've got enough on there, you're ready to dissolve this away. So this piece of work will go into a sink of warm water and this will turn to glue and it will wash out your fabric. Now, it might take two or three washes to wash the water soluble away, but when you've got all the water soluble out of the fabric, what you get back is this lovely, lovely strippy piece of fabric which you have made from all those strips that you might have thrown in the bin or just laid around on the studio floor. You can see I've got this lovely, lovely glittery thread that's running over the top. I've used a zigzag stitch through here. I've used a straight stitch through here. I've used metallic threads. I've used rayon threads. I've used cotton threads. And it's the combination of all the threads and all the stitches and all the cords and braids that you add to the surface that actually help to make this lovely see-through fabric. 
Now, once you've got your fabric back, the next thing you need to do is you, you could leave it raw like this and you could leave it with all the dangly bits hanging off the edge if you rather like that. But I like to get my soldering iron onto it. So here's my soldering iron. It's got a nice fine tip. It's a little soldering iron. So it enables me to be in control of it because it's just like holding a pen or a pencil in your hand. So I've got a nice ball under here. And this is a Teflon ball, but you could use a piece of glass. And I've got my fabric that I made earlier between the water soluble and if I put my soldering iron down I can actually draw around the edges and I can take away all of that fraying fabric and I can neaten it up. I can also take out areas so I can actually pick areas where I actually want to remove fabric which will produce a hole but that will look rather nice later on because the light will come through that i can choose all sorts of look i've got all sorts of things here that i can choose to take out there's a rather nice one there so i can take that one out take the little pieces out while it's hot because when they're hot they do have a habit of welding themselves back on again um i can take out that piece there and all the time you're doing this the soldering iron will stop it from fraying because it's sealing all the edges. So you won't get any wispy bits or any fraying um, because this is sort of uh, sealed all the edges. I'm going to take that bit out there. And you can see how easy the soldering iron melts through. Now you could add some holes as well. So use the shape of the soldering iron, pick up your work and then you can actually just pop in some nice directional holes which will make your eye come through the work and will give you the feeling of direction coming down the piece of work. So when I turn the work around that way, you'll see what I mean. These look lovely coming down through here. Um, do remember to part your fingers when you're doing this because it hurts when you burn yourself. You do it once and then you learn and you never do it again. So you can see I've got my fingers fairly well spaced apart and I'm popping these holes in. And the further you push down, the bigger the hole gets because of the shape of the soldering iron. When you spent some time with your soldering iron playing and being creative, you made holes, you've made marks with the soldering iron, you've taken out these areas. This is the type of work that you get after you've done all of that. It looks lovely. It's got holes, it lets light through it, it's got texture and all those lovely cords and braids and the decorative stitches that you've done earlier are all coming in together to make this lovely piece of fabric. So once we've got our lovely piece of fabric, what could we do with it? Well, this would make a lovely book covering. You could fold it in half and you could put it onto a, a book and leave all these raggedy edges and it would make a really stunning book. But you could also make it into a panel. And if you join me next week, we will be looking at how to make these lovely organza flowers. Also, how to wire these lovely leaves and make these wiry little swirly bits which we will put all together onto the panel and we will make a lovely waterfall panel that you can frame and admire. So there you have it guys, thank you very much for joining me to see how I've made my waterfall panel background. Don't forget to join me next time when we will be looking at how to make the three dimensional elements and the wired leaves. Don't forget to subscribe after you've watched this video and join me next time. Bye for now.